what is up guys welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my taurus zodiac sign this is the overall energy read for you we're going to pull one from the psychic tarot from the heart one from the soul's journey and then we'll clarify with the gilded tarot so start off clarify the energy of taurus please what's going on with taurus zodiac sign please what's going on with taurus zodiac sign clarify the energy of taurus Okay, so we have uh, number three coming out. This is the Nurture card. Uh, this is the Empress in the traditional deck. So this is about planting seeds, creating new opportunities, okay? Uh, fertility could be pregnancy. Sorry, guys, I'm adjusting this light here. Uh, fertility, giving birth to something, okay? Giving birth to an opportunity, a situation, or, you know, a, a child as well. Um, could represent pregnancy, and let's pull the soul's journey. Let's see what overall energy comes from this. Clarify the energy of Taurus zodiac sign, please. Clarify the energy of Taurus zodiac sign, please. Clarify the energy of Taurus zodiac sign. Overall energy, please. Let's see overall energy of Taurus. So we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Okay, so of course we're going to get the clarity with the Gilded Tarot, guys. Just remember, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross if you need to. Please flip them. Let's start off with Nurture. Clarify the Nurture card for Taurus, please. So Judgment. Okay, making a decision here of some sort, making a decision, or this could be... Um, something playing out for you here. Something that was meant to happen. Clarify Nurture for Taurus. Clarify the Nurture card for Taurus, please. Clarify the Nurture card for Taurus. So, that's fine, please. so two of them came out. We have the King of Swords and the Seven of Wands here. So you could be deciding to cut away someone here. To really put you in a better position here, okay? Putting the energy back into yourself, putting the energy into making the decision to cut off someone, and to really focus intellectually on yourself here. Yeah, Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck here. There's a lot of um, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Air Sign energy here. So, I feel like it's not something you wanted to do, but it was something you had to do. Like something that... You, you brought everything to the light. You put everything in front of you. And you seen what you were dealing with. And you decided, no, it's not for me. You know, no, I cannot take it anymore. I've got to walk away from it. And so that's what you're doing. You're focusing on yourself. You're putting the energy back into yourself. The Empress um, in the traditional deck, if you look at her, she's very elegant, okay? Someone that has, has very high standards of herself. She knows what she's about. You know, she's mastered all of the queens, water, earth, fire, and air. So she knows everything she wants emotionally that she's emotionally connected to and how people emotionally connect to her. As far as her money, she's very financially stable. You know, she knows how to turn a house into a home. Um, fire, you know, she's very passionate. She's very fiery. She goes after her goals, goes after her dreams. And the air sign represents knowledge and communication. So she knows what to do when it comes to decision making and things like that and how to communicate it properly. So with you being in the king of swords energy, this is telling me that you cut off something very in a very respectable way. Not like the queen of swords, you know, um, slicing it down the middle and then saying, oh, to hell with it. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my French, but um, with the King of Swords here, you cut it off in a very um, sophisticated way. Like, hey, you know, this isn't going to work. And I'm doing this because I need to better myself or because I need to really stand up for myself and, and stand on my own here with the Seven of uh, Wands here. So if this is like cutting away from a relationship, you know, you cut that relationship off, you wiped your hands from it, and it is what it is, okay? Uh, the Five of Swords being at the bottom of, a, of the deck, you know, this tells me, this is like that um, energy of having to go through something, you know, you wish you really didn't have to, but you went through it, and it is what it is, you fought your way through it, and you made it back on top, okay, you made your way through the battlefield, regardless of if, you know, you probably looked at things and said, hey, if I would have just went around, it would have been easier, but you had to go through it, because there was a lesson that needed to be learned, and because of that, some change is happening here, the Wheel of Fortune, Okay, the tower moment, unexpected um, situations or um, um, opportunities happen to you, right? And it's like, okay, you know, now you're looking back and you're saying, 
it's kind of like you know after you finish the race okay after you finish the race and you had to kind of do what you had to do to make it out of it you are kind of like you know wow I really had to do some things to make it through that but you know it is what it is at least I made it on the other side and whether if that's you know um letting go of people like cutting away people like even close people to you like friends family things like that so let's clarify failure here for a taurus clarify failure for taurus the star card okay clarify failure for taurus and the eight of pentacles it says i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so you're definitely in this learning moment here with the hermit being on the bottom of the deck you're doing a lot of thinking a lot of contemplating a lot of figuring out here uh, the star and the eight of pentacles underneath the failure. This tells me again, you've went through some struggles. You went through some things that you had to to learn what your dreams and your hopes are and what your 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 future that you dream of and want to work towards is. You know what I'm saying? And you've probably had to go through a lot of knocking down and a lot of um, chopping away to get to where you are now. You know what I'm saying? Or get to where you will be. Um, but I see your dream coming true. The star is dreams coming true. It's star power, star quality, celebrity, and that type of energy. And Eight of Pentacles is you working away, perfecting things here. So you could have learned um, from all of those failures here, okay? Because again, it says failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So you've learned over time what what works and what doesn't, you know? And this does work. And okay, now that now that I figured out that this works, I'm gonna focus on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna grow with that I'm going to create that I'm going to perfect that you know what I'm saying so like for example just a YouTube channel you know maybe you you created a YouTube channel you tried a couple of videos and you realize you know after a few of them flopped and they didn't work you realize something that really works for you that really sticks for you and you're like okay well I can work with this I can make this happen I've learned from the past not to do this and not to do that so you know I, I see you working towards here you're doing a lot of thinking but you're going after your passions here, okay? You're going after your passions here. You're going towards it. You're making some type of boss moves here with the Knight of Wands as far as your, your passions, your fires, your desires. And then with the Two of Pentacles, you're trying to balance things out here, okay? But look here, the Knight of Swords taking action, going towards something in the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Abundance and success here. Look at the money right in front of you. So if it's business... You know, you're really focusing on something that's going to bring the abundance to you. And if it's um, a love relationship, you're going to get that as well. So let's clarify, clarify the star real quick, please. For Taurus, clarify the star and the eight of pentacles. Let's do both. Six of pentacles coming out for you here. So whatever you're putting out is what you're going to get, okay? It's equal give and exchange here. All right? The chariot represents triumph, overcoming hard times, difficulties, you know, coming out on top. You've had to deal with some some shakiness. You've had to deal with a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? You had to, I feel like you had to cut away a lot of people, even people that you truly love. Because the Two of Cups, it, although it represents Twin Flame soulmate energy, it's also energies of people that you have created a soul tie to. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, family members and, and friends and things like that. There's some people that you had to um, kind of cut away from. Uh, due to negativity or due to the energy of jealousy and things like that. And you may feel like, you know, you, you were trying to give and, and, and uh, receive from people, but I feel like some people weren't giving back to you. You know, they were just there to take. But um, you've realized that as, as you've grown and as you've overcome these situations, even, even if it comes to a lover, you know, a best friend, a parent, a brother, a, a sibling, whatever, you know, You've realized that, okay, you know, in order to overcome that, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to kind of go at it alone and just like with the seven of swords, go at it alone, watch my back. You know, I can't depend on anybody else. I have to watch my own, watch my own back by looking over my own shoulder and protecting myself from some love, um, lovers or family members or people that I truly care about, you know, that I'm connected to or were born into, um, in order to get out on top, you know, sometimes you have to cut away. Uh, sometimes you have to cut away the party and cut away the um, the energies of people wanting to take you, you know, take you out and go party all the time, spend money here, spend money there, spend money there. 
maybe you you know you're you're realizing where you need to invest your time in and sometimes you know when you're really working on a successful situation you do have to cut out those fun times or you have to cut out uh, those certain weekends because you may have to work on you know your business or something like that all right so let's get um, let's pull a couple love or lovers oracles see what we have any messages for Taurus all right so here's the here's the card for you and it says manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance so that's the card that came out for you so continue following your guidance whatever you're planting seeds for okay they're about to produce you your fruit all right so just keep working towards it keep focus on it focusing on it again keep being this king of swords as in you know intellectually thinking okay this is what i need to do and this is what i don't need to do you know yes it sounds nice to go out and do this and do that but um maybe i do need to spend more time over here you know whatever it is because i see you perfecting something here you're you're very close Okay, especially with all of the failures that you've dealt with and you've overcame them, you're getting very close. So let's clarify, um, let's pull a Divine Abundance card for you. I haven't shuffled these that much, so let me do a... Alright, any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus? messages for Charles. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, this is the message that came out. It says, ease. It's easy for me to receive. It is easy for me to receive. It is easy for me to receive. Okay, so chant that three times, all right? It is easy for me to receive. It is easy for me to receive. It is easy for me to receive. You've went through your difficulties, okay? Now it's time for you to receive what you deserve. All right, Six of Pentacles. What you put out in the universe is what you uh, get back. All right, and then let's do um, yeah, let's do your divine door for you, and then I will end this reading off. Okay. Last message for Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we have this beautiful orange door here. Okay. It says, silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind and meditation's grace the soul can unwind. So breathe in, breathe out, and let go of doubt. Don't doubt yourself, all right? Maybe meditate, okay? Take a couple of breaths and chant this again, okay? If you need to, please screenshot it. Chant this again three times. It is easy for me to receive. All right. So this is your reading, Taurus. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight. Guys, I appreciate you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.